Hey guys, we Tom Fox here back at you guys with another video, and I'm very tired, and I actually just got a haircut. Obviously, nothing's changed. <laughs> this is not the point of the video. The point of the video. Iron Man. But I just wanted to do this as a side note: is that I did get a haircut, but I did ask him to just like trim the bottom because I actually do like my long hair. <laughs> There's no way to even make it look like Prince, like uh, this guy from from uh, Shrek. <laughs> The handsome evil guy. But he was the bravest and most handsome. <laughs> you, as you can see, it's still long. So the point of the video, Iron Man. I got a new book. It's called Iron Man Ironmonger. And yes, it is about the Ironmonger suit from the Iron Man. <laughs> Iron Man movie. Also, another side note. This video is just going to be called Side Note. I just started my Manthane Omnibus. I am really excited because I'm loving it so far. Just whatever. Okay, so this is about Iron Man. This is this takes place after the Demon in a Bottle Row, which is, which is essentially dealing with Tony Stark's alcoholism. Now, without further ado, let's unbox this. Raise the sword. All right, we got it open and <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Oh, whatever. And they said this was brand- Just <laughs> I was gonna say it was taped onto this piece of cardboard and then just zoop, fell off. Unboxing portion, done. Inspect before opening. No returns or exchanges if shrink wrap is open. Well, they said it was in perfect condition, so that's okay. God, I need to fix <laughs> Blacksmith mode right now. Fix a sort of a shanty in Tony Stark level blacksmithing. <laughs> Thank God there are no stickers. So whoever sent me this, if you're watching, which I'm hoping you do, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This is amazing. And easy unwrap. It's kind of like the classic comic book casing that you usually get with these. It's like you take the back, open it, and you slip it out. Oh, it's double wrapped. It's double wrapped. That's pretty epic. There's one piece open and one piece. Oh, that is heavily pristine. Oh, it's a premiere edition. So this is like first edition. This is a very cool cover. We see Iron Man uh, firing his repulsor beams at something. I don't know. I'm guessing it's Iron Monger. On the side, yeah, you got the Solar Centurion and the people who worked on it. Um, it's called Iron Monger. All right, let's see what this is. Uh, let's read the back, shall we? He's lost his armor and his fortune, but he, but not his nerve. Tony Stark's back on his feet after everything Obadiah Stane has thrown at him. But now the, the bilious billionaire is taking away is taking away Stark's friends, one of them forever. The admit the enmity spanning more than thirty issues ends in a steel-plated slugfest from which only one can walk away. Plus, vision quests and, and extra-dimensional intrigue, Adam Mask, Thunder's and the debut of the Scourge of the Underworld, guest starring the West Coast Avengers, collecting Iron Man uh, issues 193 through 200. That's pretty epic. Um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at some of the art inside. Oh, that's awesome. I love how when we open this, we get Iron Monger right here. That's pretty epic. If you didn't know, um, I have the action figure with me. This is limited edition action figure right here. I collected these when I was a kid, so these are limited edition. Uh, the actual Iron Monger, uh, Iron Monger, is actually way different from the one you see in the movie. I love how in the one you see in the movie, it's more technical and like a tank, but also sort of like all these hydraulic bits to actually attempt to move in all this power and everything. It's just sort of like, if you did build like an Iron Man suit, that's kind of what it would probably look out to be. Yeah, it had a blue design, and I think the blue is trying to represent like it might be black or something, because that's kind of what they did with Venom. Uh, and he does have repulsor beams in this. Uh, anyways, let's get back to looking at New York because we just opened the cover. Yeah, again, these are some classic art styles. Like this, we have Tony Stark falling, I think in a dreamscape or extra, like they said, they said, uh, extra dimensional intrigue. Oh, he's wearing a silver armor? What? Which suit is this? He wears something. He wears like this silver armor right here. I have no idea um, what it is, but I'm guessing that's probably uh, an attempt at recreating the Mark One suit. 
which I really enjoy. That that looks really good. Yeah, it's the Mark One suit. You right. Th oh yeah, we got uh, Madam Mask. Well, I'm hoping we most likely get in the MCU. This bit, uh, he starts putting on the Silver Centurion armor. Yeah. Yeah, he does end up using the Silver Centurion armor in the final bit. See the Ironmonger suit for the first time, which is pretty epic. And we do get like uh, his suit up sequence, which I had a book a while back that did talk about that. Um, and it's always, and it was awesome like seeing that, and it's awesome seeing this for the first time actually come to fruition. Let's see if on the next page you get like the final panel of, yep. There it is. There's the Ironmonger suit, which we actually saw in the front. You right. Th this right here. And this. If I remember correctly from the, uh, from my Matt Fraction and the Salvador La Roca run of Iron Man, uh, they talk about this. I think Obadiah Stane, spoilers, because this does happen from the head. Yeah, he does kill himself using a repulsor beam to the head. And, um, it, it took place from this exact, these exact panels. And the last word is somebody lost. And then we get the cover. And then we get the cover, which is pretty epic. This does look really amazing. And I'm trying to collect like a bunch of different issues that were, or different runs of Iron Man from like David Michelinie and like the, uh, excuse me, important stories that are used for like the MCU's Iron Man movies or were used for the MCU Iron Man run. And it is really amazing seeing all of this, but also I really just want to collect like a bunch of Iron Man stories because I, he was my favorite character growing up, still is. And um, he's still out there, he's number one. Hi, it's me, future me. And I want to say that I didn't say this in the video, but everything was a 10 out of 10 across the board. I really enjoyed the art, the shipping was fantastic, and I know bits of the story, so I am excited to read it. But yeah, everything is, is a 10 out of 10 across the board, so I was just throwing that out there for you guys, because I forgot to add that into the video. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Please do subscribe to my friends. Their channels are in the description down below. Please make sure to subscribe to me, please. It would really help out the channel a lot if you want to. And we're so close to getting to 120 subscribers. It is amazing. Thank you everybody so much for getting me here. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.